ladies figure skating was suffering a void. Tanya Shevchenko suffered in silence. The angel on ice was a prisoner in a personal hell. A mysterious disease had her virtually paralyzed with exhaustion. How could this happen? Tanya seemed destined for greatness. At just 16, she was already the world's bronze medalist. I always say that um, skating is um, its like heaven on earth. So I think that, um, that I'm the only one at the moment who knows what it means to be a figure skater and to love figure skating. Imagine that love was ripped from her grasp. In September of 96, she could barely climb two stairs, let alone skate. She was a 19-year-old with a life-threatening disease. Finally diagnosed as a combination of viruses, she began cell therapy. Each Friday, Tanya and her mother would travel from Dortmund to Munich for blood transfusions. I was scared and I, I didn't know what was going on. And when I felt really bad, I thought, oh, that's like dying. Tanya could not practice for a year. When she finally returned to the ice, it was just 30 minutes at a time. It would be a long road. But after 19 months away from competition, she made her return this season. Adding to the drama, her first event was on German ice. Her performance, miraculous. When I saw that I'm first, I started crying. And um, I kissed my coach and said thank you. And then we both uh, cried. And that was the best feeling I ever had. But there was more to come. A month later, she repeated her performance with a win in Japan. Tanya Shevchenko, more graceful than ever, was back as one of the best. At the beginning of the season, I was just happy that I can skate again. And um, for me, it was not important uh, which place or what, um, how I skate, but it was important that I skate. So, and I didn't thought that I can win. And so now I won three times. And that's unbelievable. Well, let's see if it gets more unbelievable as the rest of the ladies field guns for Tara Lipinski. First up, Arena Slutskaya. And in a world full of hot young teenagers, I remember a few years ago when this one absolutely charmed us. She really struggled this time with her jumps. She finished a disappointing fourth place, and she knew it. Tanya Shevchenko came into this competition sick. The throat was sore. There were problems right from the beginning in the short program. The triple lutz, one of the biggest in ladies figure skating, did not work the night of the short program. But then again, how can you perform at your best when you just don't feel good? And Maria Butyrskaya at 25 brings a maturity to the sport. In the past, she's had a problem putting it all together. But she did put it all together here in the short program. And this being an Olympic year, this is the time to do it. Hey, Tara, watch out. So here's how it stands after the short. Lipinski in first, Butyrskaya in second. Shevchenko, who last week won the German national championship but was left exhausted, will really have to rally. The fourth member of our team, two-time national ice dance champ Susie Wynn, is backstage with the leader. Tara, earlier in the season you had two losses. Now, going out into this competition you probably were a little nervous, but you didn't look nervous at all out there. No, I felt very confident and in the beginning of the season I was, you know, I felt confident too, but I feel like now I'm peaking and I'm getting to that point where I was last year and I think also winning last year gave me a lot of confidence here to say, you know, I was the champion and I can do it again, so. Now we've talked a lot about presentation. Those are exactly the marks that are high right now. How does that feel? That feels great. I mean, my technical, you know, it was great. And, you know, when the marks go up after that, it's even better because I've worked so hard this year on that. Best of luck in the free program. Alrighty. 
Straight ahead, 92 Olympic champ Artur Dmitriev hopes he and his new partner, Oksana.